So I kind of haven't fully released Autumn yet because, well, obviously I'm obsessed with her, but that's totally besides the point. I want to show you guys my take on how to achieve the perfect red lip. And I was like, I'm kind of feeling doing it with this look that's happening right now. So hello. All right, this is happening. This is, this is fully happening right now. So no matter what, you're doing, your lips should always be stunningly hydrated, but especially if you're doing a bold lip. So I'm gonna start with a little lip balm. This is the Glossier Cherry Balm.com. I love these. And it has a little bit of a reddish tint to it, so it's like already setting me up for success. And I love that. This is really pretty all by itself too. I mean, if you're just like running out the door for your life, then hey, it smells good. I kinda want some. I bet it tastes good too. Does it look good on me? It does taste good. Now, if you're gonna do a bold lip, you better be using some lip liner because there's just no other way around it. I'm just, I'm just telling you, that's, that's the real tea. This is Mina by Morphe. Mina, I wonder who she is. She's like a secret. She must be like a goddess or something. Kind of like you, Autumn. She's like, I can't respond because you're doing my lip liner, but I completely <laughs> agree with you. This is a really, really pretty red. This is like a, this feels like a very true kind of Marilyn Monroe red. And we all want to look like that. I mean, I do. Time for a little lipstick. And I've used every color under the sun and moon and stars and Uranus. <laughs> Get it? Do you see what I did there? But I always seem to go back to Russian Red by MAC because it's just very, very serious business. It's a good color. Okay, so. Real talk, I'm gonna put this down so we can have a serious conversation. If you want your red lip to be major, it needs to be perfect. It needs to be shaped beautifully. And this is my foolproof way of making that happen. So I'm gonna show you. You need a powder foundation in your life and you need a flat brush like this that's super, super sharp. Like you could cut someone. We love to cut people. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. This is Studio Fix from MAC and I'm using a M432 brush from Morphe. But any powder foundation that you have would work. And the thing is, if it's if it's a lighter weight powder, like a mineral powder or a sheer powder, it's not gonna have as much coverage, so you're not gonna get the sharpness. It really kind of has to be a powder foundation. So check out this magic. Literally go along the edges of the red. And it is just... Fantastic. The cool thing about this too is the powder foundation kind of barricades the red so it does not budge. And we want it to stay in place. We want it to be fias for as many hours as possible. When you get any feathering or anything like that, it's because the cream doesn't have, actually it has lots of places to go because there's nothing around it. But when you, when you use that powder foundation, then you get that really nice barrier. I mean, that is crisp. That is like fresh produce right there. And then don't be afraid to go back with your lip liner a little bit. And just clean up the edges, turn this way. Any of the edges that might've gotten a little bit too powdery, you can just kinda go back with your lip liner and clean them up. I mean, these lips are so crisp and so sharp, like they could cut someone, and they probably will. I mean, let's be real. How could I not give you this lip with this eye situation to give you some serious editorial glamour? But I mean, in your case, this is like, I'm gonna go to Ralph's and buy a rotisserie chicken. Organic. Yeah, or I said organic, please, thank you. Oh, oh, Hurt, but in a good way. So she literally just cut me, but I liked it. It was it was good. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. 